So yesterday I covered an update for Fallout 4 and Skyrim that basically made it so the way Creation Club content is kind of loaded into the game or read by the game is changed so it will no longer break Fallout 4 and Skyrim Special Edition script extender. With this we actually got the creation of a new file fallout4.cc or skyrim.cc. In the file you can actually now see all of the releases for Creation Club currently as well as a few new special ones that are yet to be released. So in this video I'm going to be going over all of those ones for Fallout 4 and taking a little bit of a look as to what they are all about. So first and foremost, we have some more pit boy paint jobs because yes, this is what we really wanted. Granted, I guess Bethesda had to add in a whole new mechanic into the game to actually enable these to work, but still, I don't think anyone really likes the pit boy paint jobs. Now, if we got something like a pit pad, that might be a little bit more interesting. Regardless, we now do have a blue, white, and red pit boy paint job that should be coming in the next release of Creation Club. It's also important to remember that Bethesda kind of said the next releases for Creation Club should be fairly far out. They were kind of looking at the program and reevaluating some things so as a result of that they are kind of deliberately delaying the releases so I imagine this isn't all we're going to get although I could totally be wrong with that then we do have the doom chainsaw this is something that was teased earlier on of course in the update before this one we'd get the doom armors as well as that bfg when actually getting the chainsaw if you ever played through doom you'll know the chainsaw is a pretty notable weapon mostly because of the animations and interactions it has with enemies so if they could bring something like that into fallout 4 to really make it kind of special when you do take down enemies with it it could be a pretty interesting weapon it's still nothing groundbreaking, nothing that's going to really overhaul or change the game. We have other chainsaw mods, but again, if they really take this one in particular to the next level, I can see people being happy with paying for it. If it's just a normal chainsaw, then how will it really differ? If there's no special interactions or animations, it will literally be the same as the plentiful other chainsaw mods out there right now. So then moving on to something we don't currently have, we actually have the Mauler from the Pit DLC for Fallout 3. We of course knew this was coming to Creation Club, it was in some of the other kind of tease content on Bethesda Net's website. The Mauler is of course the unique variant of the Auto Axe, the Mauler doing a lot more damage, and if this damage does carry over, it will definitely be a relevant melee weapon in Fallout 4. By default, it does do 45 damage per like one attack. Kind of interesting though that they're choosing to bundle these two together. The Mauler obviously is quite similar to a chainsaw, and you know, getting a chainsaw and the Mauler at the same time just seems like an interesting decision in my eyes. Regardless, I think this one, it's a cool weapon. I imagine a lot of people are going to be excited to get it. The real question is, how much is it going to cost? For like a dollar or two, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people would love it, but for three to four dollars, I think you'll get a lot more polarizing reactions. So finally, and I save what might be the best for last, we do have a decoration pack. So I say this is the best for last because everything I've talked about thus far was made by Bethesda Game Studios themselves. With a lot of the other CC releases, Bethesda Game Studios content was kind of on a lower quality scale or just didn't offer as much as mod author creations. Well, the decoration pack is actually going to be by a mod author. I believe this one is going to be by Eleonora. I don't know that for a fact, but it definitely seems like something that would be up her alley. Obviously, she's made some other decoration mods or housing mods in the past. And regardless, I would be most excited for this. Obviously, decoration pack is extremely vague. It's going to be a fairly small file because it is still an ESL. But at the same time, the furniture pack that we have gotten in the past, a lot of people did enjoy. So this one could follow that same route. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the new releases coming in the next update for Creation Club. I'm going to say without a doubt, we probably will be getting more than this. I can't imagine they'll leave it at this if they actually are listening to the fans and not going to want more backlash. So as always, again, thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this video informative. I know there's no big releases like there are for Skyrim, but hey, if you want to check out that video, you can do that also. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys all next time. Later.